All right, so let's uh, keep moving. We'll start with uh, big UDF. What is a big UDF? And so a UDF is called user defined functions. Okay. So all the pig scripts that we have written, uh, you know, you would have seen that it's a step by step procedural language and uh, it basically gives you definitely the the solutions for multiple uh, problems, but then there are certain inbuilt keywords which you need to use. Now, if you really want to achieve some complex solutions, and some of, sometimes you know even those peak scripts will not really help you uh, do everything, right? That's why scripting language or SQL kind of language will not be really helpful in achieving that, and that's the reason where you need to go for some external uh, programming language like Java, you need to rely on Java or Python, because they are more robust and they have a lot more features and you can do many things there. So it gives you good programming control to solve such problems and write some complex logic in much more easier manner. So that is one reason why people still want to use such languages to, to write certain logic, and then they want to call it in their pig script. So there will be a scenarios where you may want to do that. You may want to write certain piece of you know functionality logic into a Java or Python, and then you want to call it in pig. So that is called UDF function. You want to basically define your own functions, and you want to call it in pig script and make use of it. So this is called user-defined functions. And another reason for having a user defined function is you can make it generic so you can actually have some common functions across your projects as one common library and those things you can write it as part of Java and you can call it in big, in multiple pixels wherever you want to use it. So you can actually externalize your generic code or your common code. Uh, into a user defined functions, you write it in Java and then you call it in multiple pig scripts. So that is also one of the reason why UDF are used, okay? So that's the main reason of using a UDF or user defined functions. Now let's understand how do we basically, and uh, you know, write UDF functions in pig. So I'll be I'll be giving you a very uh, uh, simple use case on on the UDF. We'll basically write a user defined function to convert any string into uppercase, let's say. But we want to understand how to write UDF and how to call it in Pixip. That is the more important thing. So let's say, uh, let me start writing it. So you already know that what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to basically write a user-defined function, which uh, helps me to convert anything into the uppercase. That's my objective. That's a problem statement. So you need to write, let's say I want to write that code in Java, so I'll be I'll be creating a class, let's say for example, use a pig UDF. Okay, which has to extend evil functions. By the way, any pig UDF, when you <coughs> write, you have to definitely extend certain uh, classes uh, which are provided by uh, pig, okay? So you need to import pig libraries. So let me do that. Let me go ahead and import a pig UDF. I have imported under usually pig, I have imported the pig UDF. Now it should be able to recognize the evil function class which is available in the pig library. Okay, this is a normal string which I want to use. And you have to <coughs> override a method. Uh, it says add an implemented method. So this is the method you should be doing. You should be overriding it. It will take a tuple as an object, as an input, and you need to return the string. 
So what we should be doing is, uh, I have let's say one uh, tuple which comes. I want to convert it into the you know the the upper case, okay? Or certain columns in that tuple, I want to convert it into upper case. So I can do it this way. Uh, let me uh, write certain logic here, and then we'll understand how to do it. And I want to let's say uh, use a UDF for one of the files. Let's say for example this uh, this data customer US file is there, which has username, city, and score. So I want to let's say convert this city into a case. Let's say for example that is our requirement. So I can actually do this. I can get that entire row as a tuple, and then I can extract something like this. So I'll basically see. Uh, user tuple dot get of a particular index will give you the respective column name. <coughs> okay, so I'll get a username, I'll get a city for the next column. And then I'll get a score, credit score. And finally, once you have that, let's say I will be writing, returning something like this. user because Kumar it is a typecasting in Java you want to convert an object into string it returns always object that's why you need to convert it into uh, string okay user city That's it done. That is what I want to return. So I'll take the same string, but I'll convert city into uppercase and then I'll return that string. That's the logic I should be doing. I don't want to uh, do any further stuff, but as you can see here, now you can write any complex logic and, and, and solve this problem. I want to just convert it into uppercase and do that. So that's why I have written this, okay? So once my class is ready, I can actually use it in my pick script. So how do I do that? Let me show you that. So let me first create a jar file for this. You have to obviously create a jar file, export it as a jar, and just say pig udf dot jar. And once you have the pig udf dot jar, let's start writing a pick script where we can call that. So. <clears throat> I'm going to create a new pick script, let's say um, upper to upper pick. I'm converting a string into the upper case. Okay, that is already a data we have written, so I don't want to show that. Uh, sorry.
so what should we do here we need to first once we write the script we need to basically use that script uh, in the pig, pig uh, script so first of all you need to when you want to use it you have created a jar so you need to register that jar in the class path of pig how will you do that you will say register okay you will say register and give your path that is your path where you have stored the file <coughs> okay pig udf dot jar that's the file which I want to give. So I'll be using that udf.jar. After that, after registering a big UDF jar, you will have to define a function. Because it is a user defined function which you want to call it on your pig scripts, you need to define it. You may say two upper is my function. You can give any name here. And then you need to give the actual class which is which needs to be executed in this jar because this jar might have a lot of other classes so this is my class which have the you you know udf code so i'll be doing this this is my class this basically creates a function so these two lines will help me get the function okay create the function for my udf jar after that, I'll let's say uh, use a USA data. Here we need to also give. After that, once I have loaded the data in USA file, I need to basically start using it, converting it into uppercase. So how do I do that? I need to basically get each record, each row, and I want to convert it into uppercase. Okay. So you need to basically do this operation for every record. <clears throat> so how will you do that? Let's say USA uppercase is equals to for each USA data generate and then give the function name which is a UDF function which you have called and pass the entire tuple. How do you pass the entire tuple? You have to give all the column names here. So you'll say user city score done and then I'll just say dump USA upper that's it that's how we can solve this problem of converting every row i mean the particular column of that row into the into the basically into you know uppercase and then use a new bag which can if you dump that you will get the data so this is how you pass the entire column uh, sorry entire row and then you basically use your function here to to convert it into the UDF okay so this completes my UDF uh, calling and UDF uh, code let me execute it so let me execute this and see the output So let us go and check the output which we have done. As you can see, we got the output where the second column is actually converted into uppercase. So that's how we can use a big UDF. Okay.